Hi, I'm Crypto Lou and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a beginner's guide of the Blockfolio app. And I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a thumbs up as it really helps me to grow my channel and understand what kind of content you enjoy. So what is the Blockfolio app? Basically, it allows you to go through and track the cryptocurrency that you've invested into, or maybe ones that you're just watching. It allows you to see your profits for what's up and what's down for the day. It's available on Android or it's available for an iPhone, so you can get that from the likes of the App Store and download that onto your phone. Now, when you first download Blockfolio, what it'll do is it'll show the top five coins right now. So whether or not they be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Monero and Ripple in here as well. But the first thing you want to do is you want to add your coins. So first of all, if you click on to add coin. And in this example, I'm going to be using EOS. So in here, it allows me to select my trading pairs. So what I can do is if I click onto EOS BTC, it gives me the opportunity to say which, how I've actually purchased this coin. So whether or not that be BTC, US dollars, euros, etc. Now I selected BTC, so I'm going to select BTC. It then allows me to select which exchange I purchased this on. So whether or not that be Binance, B Hit BTC, Kraken, Qcoin, etc. Now I purchased this on Binance, so I'm going to select Binance. Then I'm purchasing, so that's selected to buy. It then puts in the current price, so that's the current market price at the moment. And now I can put in what my trade price was. So this is how much I actually purchased my EOS at. I can then put in the quantity, so how many I actually purchased. It then shows me the total value and it gives me the ability to put in a trade date. So this is when I actually made this investment. So I actually made this on the 6th of January in 2018 and then click on to confirm. And you can also put some notes in here as well. And then just click on to save. So you can now see that EOS is now appearing in my dashboard and it provides me with my total portfolio value in the top left hand corner here. So that gives me in a monetary value at the moment. I can then click onto that and it will then change that into Bitcoin for me and it gives me an idea of my 24 hour change. So how well I'm actually performing at the moment in terms of profits or losses. And I can then change that to be a percentage value as well. So from this screen as well, it gives you an idea of all the different coins. It shows me my holdings, which I can sort in ascending or descending value. And I can do exactly the same thing in terms of the price as well. So I can sort that in ascending or descending value in here as well. Now from this screen, if I now click on to EOS, it will then provide me with all of the market data in terms of this coin. So it provides me with my candles. It then provides me with my 24 market data in terms of the high, the lows, the bid, the ask, the volume and the change for that coin. It also shows my holdings. So it tells me my total value, the quantity and the 24 hour change in here. If I now click on to book, it then provides me with all the buy orders and all the sell orders that are happening in the market at the moment. And it shows me all the live trades in here. If we then click onto alerts, now you can actually set up alerts to keep track of the different fluctuations of a coin. So maybe you want to see it before it gets too low and you don't lose any of your profits. What you can do is you can go through and you can set up an alert. So in here, it automatically picks up all the information from your from your coin, so it's already picked up our trading pairs and our exchanges. It then provides us what the current value is. So we can say if it go, goes below a certain point or if it goes above a certain point, what we can do is set up an alert for this. And then you have an alert frequency. So whether or not that be a one-time alert or whether or not that be a persistent alert, and then you click on to save. So that alert's all now set up for us. And if we then have a look at holdings, it provides us with all of our information with regards to our investment. So it gives us an idea of the amount that we've purchased, what price that was at, what the total cost was, what we are in terms of our total profit and loss for EOS. Now just taking us back to that main screen and you can now see that that alert is now set up for us. So if we now have a look at the different icons in the top right hand corner here, first of all, if we click onto the one that looks like a little chart with an arrow, what it will then do is allow us to track how our portfolio is going. So it gives us kind of chart information in terms of our portfolio and in terms of our investments. We now have a look at the next icon. Now that's the news icon. So in here, it's just a little bit of news in here. It's quite a handy little thing to have. If we click on the plus icon, this is exactly the same way as the way that we added a coin earlier on. 
And if we click on the three dots icon, in here allows us to show percent holdings. So from here, if you don't wanna see it as a monetary value and you wanna see how your portfolio is split in terms of percentages, you can then go through and show that on your portfolio. If we then go through, you can also hide your balances. Now, if for example, you wanna show someone in terms of your portfolio, but you don't wanna show them the monetary value in terms of how much you've actually invested, what you can do is hide that. If we now go through, and we can also um, capture it, so we can also save the image or copy a screenshot of this. And we can then go through and go into settings. Now from here is where we can go through and we can change currency settings. Now I automatically, it will put in US dollar. So what we can do is change this, for example, to I'm from the UK, so I'm gonna select GBP. And if I then take us back to our dashboard and I show the balances again, what it will then do is show me that in GBP. But again, obviously I can go through and I can click onto that value and I can show that in Bitcoin as well. If I then just take us back to our settings, you can also go through and you can set up a passcode lock. Now one thing to be aware of is if you do forget that, they don't store that for you. So you will have to go through and you will have to reinstall your Blockfolio app. But it's quite a nice handy little feature to have in there. Now that was a very brief overview of the Blockfolio app and I hope that you found it useful today. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them below. And if you want to see more tips, reviews and tutorials, then please hit subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you soon.